Let's have a look at our forms integration with Elementor forms. For the purpose of this tutorial, I set up one of the side kits from Elementor and included a super simple contact form on the Contact Us page. Now switch back to your backend. Go to Simply Static Forms and create a new form connection. We call it contact form 11 we choose local WP webhook and we select Elementor forms now we need the form ID to make sure we make the connection between the form and the static site for that purpose switch to your front end and go to your contact page open up the inspector controls and have a look for the form. Each form created with Elementor has a unique form ID added as a hidden field with the name tag form ID. Copy the value and switch back to your backend. Add the form ID. Next we need a webhook. For the purpose of this tutorial we're gonna be using Formspree which has a generous free tier offer that you can use to easily get started. Sign up for Formspree and log into your account. Within your Formspree dashboard, click on Add New, New Form, we call it Contact Form 11, and we create the form. Click on Copy for the form endpoint and switch back to your backend. Add the webhook URL. We are not going to be customizing the feedback now, but if you want to change the messaging, feel free to do so. We are done with our configuration now, so we can publish our connection. Let's switch to Simply Static Generate and run a new static export. Our static export is finished now, so let's test out the form. Switch to the static website and refresh the page. Let's fill out the details. The form was submitted now. Let's switch to form spray to check that we got the submission. Switch to submissions. And as you can see, there's our submitted form from, create, from the form created with Elementor and submitted from our static website directly to Formspree. 